الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و علی علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب It's a ni'mah and a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a great blessing to be on the creed and the minhaj and methodology of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with that. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. And guidance is sought from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we seek His favor and His assistance in practicing the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is due to the fact that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has divided and continues to divide and to break based on various political motives, based on sectarianism, based on various different creeds, and influences cultural, social, etc. And all of this division are distractions from our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these divisions are madhmum, they're sinful. Because Allah orders us to be one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمُ وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا and hold all of you steadfast together to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So it's not permissible to divide and call ourselves Shia, to pray differently than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to have a different madhab and methodology than the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een and a different creed to them. Because that leads to division and it leads to the hellfire. Deviation will never give you success. As the Prophet ﷺ said, كُلُّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَ وَكُلُّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَ وَكُلُّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ The Prophet ﷺ said, Every innovation is leading astray. And every leading astray is, leads to the hellfire. It's misguidance. And the Prophet ﷺ said, if tarakatil Yahuda lehtu wa sabain firqa, that the Jews would break into seventy one sects. With tarakat in Nasara that the Natain was sabain firqa, and the Christians would break into seventy two sects. Was that of tariku hadahi umala thalatha was sabain firqa, kullaha fin nar al wahida, kulla men here ya rasulullah, kala men kana ala mithi wa makana alayhi was habi al yu, wa kama kala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Prophet ﷺ said, And my ummah would break into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And they asked, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions. Letting us know it's not permissible to call yourself Shia. It's not permissible to follow a madhab or menhaj or methodology other than what the Prophet ﷺ commanded us to follow his way and the sunnah of his sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een. That which goes against that leads to the fire. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said that that, that bid'ah, all of it leads to the fire. All of it's going astray and every misguidance leads to the hellfire. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said in the hadith we already read that those divisions lead to the fire. Because he said, the Jews, they had 71 sects, Christians 72 sects, my Ummah 73 sects, all of them, all of them in the fire except one. He made a stithna. He said there is an exception, except one. And then his companions, because they love knowledge, because they wanted success in this life, especially in the hereafter. They wanted Jannah to Firdaus. They wanted to be with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in paradise. So this is why they asked and they loved the Talib Al-Ilm in order to come closer to Allah. That's why they asked, O oh, Messenger of Allah, who are they? Because they didn't want to be with those ones that divided in, into sects and ended up in the hellfire. 
Who are they, Ya Rasulullah, the successful ones? Those who are upon my son and the son of my companions. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majmeen. Letting us know our success is with the sunnah. Our success is with the sunnah of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majmeen. The madhab and sabil of salaf al salih. Ridwan ala ilayhim. Wa rahmatullahi alayhim jami'an. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa